what's going on everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com and this is the Sony Ericsson Vivaz. 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 V -v 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 it's a vibrant thing. Sony Ericsson Vivaz for AT&T. It is a just announced, just launched, available in uh, about two weeks time smartphone for AT&T. It'll be available on September 5th for 80 bucks, $79.99 after rebate on contract. Requires a smartphone data plan. Uh, AT&T just changed up their data plan so the unlimited data plan is gone. Now they have two different data plans starting at $15 a month on top of your voice plan. And this is the second new Sony Ericsson AT&T smartphone uh, in the past couple of weeks. Uh, neither one is really a new phone, but newly launched uh, on AT&T in the US. Uh, Sony Ericsson launched the Xperia X10, an Android smartphone uh, recently. That one's gonna run you 150 bucks on contract in AT&T. And now the Vivaz. We saw this one a while ago. It launched uh, around the time of Mobile World Congress in Barcelona back in the winter, February time, I believe. Now it's on AT&T. So phone geeks might be saying, like, well, what's up with this? Why are they launching a... Uh, why is AT&T picking up a Simeon S60 phone now? That's, that's kind of odd. Uh, but I think mainstream consumers, you know, if they notice this phone, will notice it because of uh, the camera specs. 8.1 megapixel camera. Uh, physically, it kind of looks like a camera. And then HD video capture on this device uh, for 80 bucks in the store, you know, kind of a low price tag for a phone with such a, such high spec photo taking. Uh, not to say the photos are any good, we'll have to test it out to see, but um, you know, that, that should catch some eyes. And then obviously the form factor, it's small, it's lightweight. Uh, mine has a nice kind of purple, kind of blue purple here, I'm liking that. And then, uh, you know, it says HD on the back, which is worth 10 bucks. No, it's uh, it's small, it's lightweight, and it looks kind of like a, a point-and-shoot little compact camera from the back side. So some people might be into that. Uh, in the box, besides that film I just took off, you also get uh, an AC adapter, USB cable, modular style, uh, and then you get your battery in this hand. Sorry, the EP500, the good old EP500, 12 milliamp hour, 1200 milliamp hour battery, and then a uh, separate stylus that looks like a li an eyeliner. I think this looks like eyeliner. The longer I work with cell phones, the more I pretend to know about makeup. I'm going to I'm going to just leave that comment floating out there in space and you all can decide what to do with it. Uh, here's the phone itself. Let's take off the back cover and get the battery in here if we can. It's another edition of Noah Fails with Battery Covers, brought to you by PhoneDog.com and in this case Sony Ericsson. Thanks to Sony Ericsson for lending us the Vivas with its um, abnormally easy to open, at least for Noah, battery cover. So get that back on there. This micro SD card, two gigabyte pre-installed. Nice to see Sony Ericsson back in the game, getting back in the game, both globally and in the US. I think uh, Android really helped them kind of, you know, get themselves rolling again, even though it took a while for the X10 to, to hit market and to hit the US market in particular. But nice to see them rolling again, and uh, those rumors of a PlayStation phone, you know, PSP phone, uh, whether the rumors come true or not, you know, they've given a little juice to the Sony Ericsson brand, but hopefully they will come true. That'd be pretty cool. Phone is powering up. Uh, on the top, you've got your power lock switch. On the right side, you've got your rocker switch. Looks like it's volume and camera zoom. Uh, dual camera buttons. It's nice these days to see one camera button, but now we've got two, two, two camera buttons. One looks like it's for film, for video mode, the other camcorder, as it were, the other for still photos. Uh, on the bottom, you've got just the uh, the microphone ports there. On the other side of the phone, you've got a little hole, and then you've got your USB cover, micro USB, little rubber cover. Oh, boop, boop, sorry, boop, and then you've, boop, you done? Okay, and then you've got a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Uh, this one I think also features TV out, so perhaps through the same jack there. On the back, 8.1 megapixel camera, uh, one to two eight f equals 4.6 mm. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not. I'm not a big photographer. I use the video camera. I take some of the worst photo. Uh, I mean, I take photos of cell phones. Uh, 8.1 megapixel camera. The rest I will leave to the photo experts to explain. Maybe one day we'll have to fire a, hire a photo expert. Uh, at phone dog. I thought that uh, I thought this was coming with a SIM card, but apparently it's not. So hang on one second. I actually have a SIM card for once. Let me get that in here. All right, we're back. SIM card in place. The date and time are wrong, but I, you know that's fine. So 
look around the phone. It's an NHD screen, which is a fancy acronym talk for 640 by 360 resolution. Here's the uh, little tutorial. So there's the home menu key. Let's click it. Okay. I did. Oh, there's my menu. Got some social networking stuff built in. Got the YouTube, at t GPS, at t Music, that kind of thing. Let's get out of there. There's the Twitter client built in. Here's the uh, Sony Ericsson Play Now, I believe. Or no, they killed Play Now. So this is just the media player, right? What's going on here? Take out the stylus because there's a stylus installed. So I'm going to use, I mean, not uh, included. So I'm going to use the stylus. Maybe there's just no media to play, and that's the problem. It looks like there's no media installed. Oh, here we go. Okay, so photo. Now, do I really need the stylus? Nah, I can just press hard. That's fine. Yeah, so no media installed. We'll go back. Music, does it come with any music preloaded? No, nope, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Wi-Fi on the phone. It's quad band GSM Edge 3G with Wi-Fi. Uh, AT&T, is that Maps? Is that AT&T Nav? Is that what's happening here? Get this little pop-up menu on the bottom that shows you what's going on. Quick shortcuts to search and messaging and all that stuff that you use frequently. From it seems a little bit hard to know. You know, when I take these phones out and try them for the first time, I want to give the phone the benefit of the doubt here and just assume that... Uh, oh, Google Maps. Okay, there. So just assume that I don't know what I'm doing, as opposed to the phone not performing well. But uh, you can see Symbian Series 5, version 5, 5th edition. Um, but uh, I don't know. The phone seems a little wonky so far. So I guess I'm on the internet now. Let's stop. Let's close. Let's close. Okay, let's go home. Can we go home? Okay, exit. Home screen. There we go. Okay, that was my fault, not the phone's fault, because I didn't know how to get there. But here I am. And so if I tap... So, you know, it's it's Series 60, which I haven't used in a while. Kind of a customized platform here, and you've got the uh, social networking and all that stuff. I believe you've got some uh, corporate email syncing, which is cool. You know, for a low-priced device, lots of features. Just take a little getting used to the UI. And uh, we'll fire up the camera here. Fire up the wheeling engine, responding with a roar. And that, see, now AT&T Maps... So apparently that was launching in the background the whole time, and now it's launched. I, uh, like I said, I'm giving the phone the benefit of the doubt, but there's a little bit of strangeness going on. I, maybe I pressed too many things at once. Uh, but the rocker switch works for Zoom, which is cool. I like to see that. And uh, I would like to go into the settings here and change, not the scenes. I don't know where the setting, these settings yeah, here we go. So picture size, 8 megapixel. If we go to video, we can go 720p. Very cool. Geotagging, all that good stuff. Go back to photo and the light. You can go on or off. Thought there'd be an auto mode, but I guess not. Take a picture because it lasts longer. And there you go. Easy to share, right? Bluetooth, web. We go web, where's it gonna go? Facebook, Picasa, new service. All right, so you can punch in your own. That's cool. 
All right, there you go. So first look, the Sony Ericsson Vivaz <clears throat> making it to AT&T in the States again, September 5th, $80 on contract after rebate. Smartphone data plan starting at $15 a month is required. And uh, you've got an 8.1 megapixel camera, 720p HD video capture, another phone to add to that HD video shootout I've been meaning to do forever now. See, I didn't do it now because I knew this was coming out. That's why I'm just in my head of the game. That's all. I'm not lazy. I'm just head of the game. Much, much more on the Sony Ericsson Vivaz. The Sony Ericsson X10, which just came out on AT&T. And the rest of Sony Ericsson, AT&T, and all the other companies in the world's cell phones, tablets, uh, netbooks, router, you know, cellular routers, whatever it is, if it uh, somehow connects to a 3G uh, data network, cellular data network, or, you know, runs on a device that does, we will try to cover it for you if you ask us to. Because we're phone dog and that's what we do. So much, much more on phonedog.com. Till next time, my name is Noah. Look for a full review of the Vivaz and a full review of the X10 coming soon. Till then, thanks for watching. I will see you later. Bye-bye.